What's up, YouTubers? DaVinci Resolve 14. This will be our A tutorial. Overlaying videos, pictures, and logos. Have you seen that effect when you're watching a video like this and suddenly another video appears? Or a picture? Or a logo? That's overlaying videos. In this tutorial, we will see the features in DaVinci Resolve that let you apply this kind of effect. Using keyframes, we will create a video like this. you will be amazed of how easy it is to do this. Let's get started. This is our eighth tutorial, so we've been have using DaVinci for a while. If not, please go to the description of the video on YouTube where you can find a link to our full DaVinci Resolve playlist. If you click there, YouTube will let you watch all the tutorials we are creating for DaVinci Resolve. This time we need some kind of previous knowledge about keyframing. So let's come back, let's go to Resolve, and let's import a background video. Let's go to File, Import Media, and let's select a video. Don't change. This time we'll need the trimmer, so let's disable the inspector, clicking here, and now let's click on this and drag it to the trimmer. Let's preview this video, position the marker somewhere, and play this. That's right, let's select a part of the video, position the marker somewhere, and this could be the marking point. Let's play this a little. Enough, this could be the marker point. Now let's drag it to the timeline, but let's see something new. We can drag everything to the timeline or select just to drag the video or dragging just the audio. This time, I would like to drag only the video. So I select this area, click here and drag it to the timeline this way. We don't need the trimmer anymore. So let's click on the inspector to activate it. Let's preview what's on the timeline, position the marker and play this. Okay, only the video. Let's overlay some pictures, logos and video on top of this. First, to overlay elements, assets, we need to use several video tracks. It's as simple as right clicking here and adding a track. Add a track, now we have two video tracks. Video tracks are indicated by a B letter plus a number. Let's add even another. Let's right click and add another video track. You can use this bar to navigate. You can adjust the position of this like this. And let's overlay. The element you want on the background should be on the track at the bottom, so the other elements are on top of it. Let's import some pictures. Let's go to File, Import Media, and let's select some pictures, like this one. And let's select also a logo. Let's go down, press and hold Control, select the YouTube logo, and then open. Now let's overlay this. Just as any logo, this should be a PNG file to overlay. Just click and drag it to the timeline in an upper track over the video. If you position the marker over it, you will see the YouTube logo on top of the video. Notice that if you click on the video clip, you could even click and drag it over the logo. That way you couldn't see the logo positioning the marker because the video is covering, concealing the logo. Here in DaVinci Resolve, videos, pictures in an upper track tend to cover the videos in a lower track. If you click on the video and drag it down to the track on the bottom, you still may see, because the YouTube logo has a transparent background, and you can use all the controls, all the tools we have learned. To customize the logo, just click on the logo, and let's use the inspector, we have done this before. It's on this panel. You can transform the logo by clicking and dragging its zoom, its size, you can adjust its position as you like, and many other controls using this panel, the inspector. We also saw in our previous tutorial that we can use these tools. Click on this dot down arrow and let's select transform. You see transform controls, transform. Let's click here on transform and you see these widgets. Apply it to the logo because is the clip we have selected. Now, with this tool enabled, you can position the logo, adjust its size, all these kind of things, just dragging on the very preview window. If you want a logo, 
on a corner of your video all the time. You just do this, position the clip and make sure to stretch the duration of the logo by dragging this way till the end of the clip. So if you position the marker and play this, you will always see your logo. This way. Let's stop this. If you want to change the position of the logo, just select it and drag it. Position it wherever you want or use the inspector and all its tools like this. You can click and drag or it's also possible just to click here, type a number and press enter. We have just added a logo to the video. This is very used on YouTube videos. But it's even more interesting to apply some animation to this logo to make this logo move over time as the video is being played. To get that effect, we're gonna use keyframes. We saw that in our fifth tutorial. It's like creating different positions for different moments on this video. Remember, this is a video. The video plays, but the position of the logo remains. I would like the logo at this moment of the video be shorter and start at this place. At this moment of the video, I would like the logo to move up over here. Rotate a little, then later, go to this corner, and at the end of the video, go to the center and at the bottom of the screen. How to do that? Keep framing. Let's position the marker at the beginning. At the beginning of the video, we're going to adjust the zoom and the position. To enable the keyframing, as we saw in the first tutorial, we're going to click on these rumbles. I click on this and it becomes red. I click on this other gray rhombus, click and becomes red. This color is indicating that a keyframe is generated here. At this moment, at this position, I want this logo to be shorter. I click on the zoom control, slide a little. I would like to rotate it, maybe like this. I would like to adjust this position like that. This logo will look like this at this moment of the video. At this other moment, the video will play and come to this position, I would like the logo to be at a higher position. So, I just click on the white position and drag it, like this. I would like it to rotate a little, this way, maybe become a little bigger, maybe a little to the right, like this, that's okay. That's at this position, you see, red rhombus. I'm gonna position here. Again, I need to enable the zoom keyframe and the position keyframe, always making sure these rumbles are red. And I want this to be over here. I can use the zoom and position controls here on the inspector, but we can also use these controls, remember? Clicking on this drop down arrow, selecting transform, appear these widgets, and it's also possible then to just click and drag. Rotate with this control like this. Reposition here, that's at this moment of the video. At this other, over here, don't forget to label the rumbles. Click here and click here. If you don't do this, it won't work. Now let's create a new keyframing, just dragging down. You see that red line indicating that this is going to move up, then right, then down. Then I want it to rotate again, like this. And at this moment, I would like this to be at the center, at the bottom of the video. But always remember, first, click here, and here, and any other tool you want to apply. So to create a keyframe at this moment, at this moment I want this to be at the center of the video. Let's rotate it a little. This to be perfect. I need to click a rotation angle, click here. Type zero, press center, and it's just okay. A little bit to the left, like this. Now let's preview this. We have just used keyframes. In these two properties, zoom and position, just apply some movement to the YouTube logo. Let's preview this. Let's disable the widgets, clicking here, position the marker at the beginning, and let's play this video. You see? It's moving. I like that. But still looks too simple. We have just applied keyframes to the zoom and position properties. Let's add another. Remember, you can navigate between keyframes by using these arrows. Click, last keyframe, third keyframe, second, first keyframe. There are many. Actually, they were five. First keyframe, remember, clicking at this arrow. Second keyframe, third keyframe, fourth keyframe, fifth keyframe. We can adjust them. Let's go to the first one. This one, 
at the beginning of the timeline. Let's enable some other properties like rotation angle, pitch, angle. Now let's apply some adjustments. At this keyframe, the first one, I would like this to rotate like this. Let's adjust the pitch. Look at that. And yo, looks weird, too weird. Now let's go to the second keyframe, clicking at the arrow, like this. Again, let's enable the rotation, the pitch, and the jaw, and let's apply some other movement. Jaw, let's click it, type 0, press enter, and the pitch, like this. I like that. Rotation angle, this way. And now let's go to the next keyframe by clicking on this arrow. Click, go to this one. Again, enable rotation, pitch, and yaw. Uh, the pitch, let's type 0, press enter. The yaw, like this. Rotation angle, this way. And let's increase the size. We still can use this. And the position a little to the left. This way. Let's go to the next keyframe by clicking on this arrow. Click. And don't forget to enable rotation angle, pitch, and yo. Now let's adjust the pitch by dragging here. Like this better. Yo. Mm -hmm. Rotation angle. That's right. And the last keyframe by clicking here. Let's go just to the center. Pitch, zero, presenter. Yo, zero, presenter. And rotation angle, zero, presenter. Now let's preview this. Look at this kind of movements. Let's use this picture. Just click and drag it on an upper track. Like this one. Position the marker over you to watch it. And this is the picture. I would like this picture to appear a few seconds after the beginning of the video. So I'm going to click and drag it a little to the right. This way and then adjust its duration till the end of the video so at the beginning there is no picture i play the picture appears later that way let's apply some movements to this picture i would like that at the beginning uh, the first moment the picture appears it will be smaller then change the position at different keyframes let's start by the beginning select the picture and let's transform it you can select all the controls of the properties you want to apply or just click on this button. This will select them all. At the beginning, I would like this picture to be at this corner and be smaller. So I'm going to adjust its position this way to the right. I'm gonna decrease its size and lift it up a little. This way. Then, a little bit later, like at this moment, let's enable all the keyframes. Let's rotate it just a bit. Like, like this. And let's use the dragging controls, remember, here at this long, long arrow, you can also use transform and just drag it, drag it a little over here. A new keyframe like this, over here, enable them all, let's drag this picture over here, to this corner, let's rotate it a little, a little bit later, like at this moment, enable again the keyframes, it goes up, later, Enable the keyframes, it goes down, turn to the left a little, and later, so it just gets a straight rotation angle, type 0 per center, and let's increase its size a little, like this, a little bit up, this way. Position the marker at the beginning of the video, let's disable the widgets by clicking here, and now let's play this. That look good. Now let's overlay the video. Let's go to File, Import Media, and let's select a video like this one. This time we'll need the trimmer, the window trimmer. So let's disable the inspector. Let's drag this clip to the trimmer and let's select point like this. This could be the market point. Let's play this a little. Hey guys, by the time that you're seeing this video, it will be one day till Christmas Eve. And if you guys don't watch it on the actual day it comes out. That's a not mark out point, and I'm gonna click and drag this to the timeline. But for that, we need another video track, you see? We have only three. Let's create another video track. Right click, add track, and now click 
and drag the video and the audio also. Click and drag it to the upper track. Let's delete this area of the video, position the marker at the end, enable the eraser, split here, right click, delete selected. Enable the selection tool and let's select the clip and now enable again the inspector. With these tools, let's apply some animation to this video. First, let's decrease its size, position the marker at the beginning, and as you see, the Christmas wishlist video is covering the others because it's on top here in the timeline. It's time to apply some keyframes. First, position the marker at the beginning, enable all the keyframes, and if you apply any change, any movement, and want to delete the keyframe, you just need to do this, and the keyframe disappears. This is how you delete keyframes, but let's create some of them. Ok, enable the keyframes, and let's also enable these tools. At the beginning of the video, I would like this video to be shorter, to be at this corner, I would like it to be rotated a little, let's pitch. Yo, that's right. At this moment of the video, let's enable the keyframes again. Everything is red. We continue. Let's drag this down this way. Let's rotate it a bit. Let's decrease its size. Change its pitch. The yo. Position the marker somewhere else. Enable the keyframes. And let's drag this to the left. Over here. Pitch. 0, press enter, yo 0, press enter, let's rotate this a little, let's increase its size, like this, maybe a little up, that's ok, let's create a new keyframe, over here, enable the keyframes, click in here, this will enable all the keyframes, you can enable property by property, or simply enable all the keyframes, I would like to come over here, Rotate it, rotate it, pitch a bit, yo a bit, that's enough, let's go to a final keyframe, I would like the rotation, I'll go to 0, press enter, pitch to 0, press enter, yo to 0, press enter, and let's position this at this corner, maybe bigger, like this, position it this way, how this will look at the end? Position the marker this way. Maybe I would like the YouTube logo to be a little to the left. Can we still adjust the final keyframe of the YouTube logo? Of course. Select the YouTube logo and search for the final keyframe. Is this one. The YouTube logo is selected and all the keyframes are red. You can adjust the position still. Like this. And that's all video. Let's create an mp4 from this, just as we learned in our past 7th tutorial. At this moment you could go from the edit tab to the color tab and apply some color grading. You could go to the further audio tab and customize the audio of your clips. But we're not gonna do that, we we'll just go to the final tab, the deliver tab, to create an mp4. Let's use a preset, YouTube 720. Let's create a video, I will like this time an mp4 file of 1280 by 720 We will browse this location, I like this video at this folder, ok. To the audio, I would like to keep it just like that, and go to file, and let's call this tutorial number 8. Add to render queue, now appears here, it's time to start rendering. DaVinci start the rendering, in a few seconds later, the job will be done. Now let's browse to that folder, it was over here, and it is it. Tutorial 8, an mp4 file of 7 seconds. We're gonna see it right now, but please remember, if you're watching this video from YouTube, in the description you will always find a link to the full DaVinci Resolve playlist. If you click there, YouTube will show you all the DaVinci tutorials we have made in the order you need them to be. I hope you really like this video and to see you on the next one.